This is Barry from Sisterhood of the Shrinking Jeans. I wanted to um, take a sh the opportunity today to show you guys some foam rolling, some basic stuff that you can do uh, if you're a runner or just working out in general. We have a new Couch to 5K group that just started last week um, over on our Facebook page. And a lot of them are saying there's some aches and pains and that's totally to be expected starting a new running program. So hopefully um, these are some things that they can do and you can do that will help those muscles stay nice and happy and loose and make your running more pleasurable. All right, I have a couple things I want to show you today. One is just your basic foam roller. Um, these come in all different sizes. This is a small one. You can get ones that are like this big. Um, whatever's easiest for you. I like the size because it's... Um, relatively portable. I'll also show you a few things with the stick. Um, there's some parts that are hard for me to roll on the roller, so I like to use the stick, especially on my calves. And then, for those of you with feet problems, tennis balls work great, golf balls. Um, I have friends that use lacrosse balls. Um, I have a golf ball today. So, um, we'll start out with an area that tends to be really tight on runners, and that's the IT band. That's this tissue that runs from your hip to your knee. If that gets tight, sometimes you'll get um, some knee pain. Sometimes you'll feel it in the hip. Um, this is probably the hardest stretch for runners when they first get going, your hardest roll, because it hurts. Um, but once you get good at it and you're used to it, it doesn't hurt as bad. Um, Basically, you're going to put the roller down, and you're going to prop yourself just below your hip and roll from your hip to the top of your knee, okay, just like that. Um, you can put the top leg down in front of you. Um, this takes a little bit of the pressure off. It doesn't hurt quite as bad. As you get more used to it, you can go all the way down and stretch and roll this leg. And hi, Squirt. This is Squirt, and she's going to photobomb us. Say hi, Squirt. Okay, so that's one stretch that you can do. Another area that we want to roll um, are quads. Most runners um, tend to have a little imbalance. Your quads are probably a lot stronger than your glutes and your hamstrings. Um, good reason to do stretches, exercises that strengthen the back side of your body, too, but... This is an easy roll for your quads. You can do one leg or both at the same time. You're just gonna lay on top of your roller and pull yourself forward and backwards. Just like that. If you want a little different kind of quad massage, if you bend your feet up, you're gonna hit the quads a little bit deeper. You can do that as well. Okay. The next roll I'm going to show you is just how to roll your hamstrings. Again, you're just going to prop yourself up on your roller, roll yourself back and forth. This is one um, roll that I don't really think does a whole lot for me. I actually like to use my stick for my hamstrings. When you get done with your hamstrings, you can just keep coming backwards and you can do your calves. For some people to be up on your shoulders like that is tough. I'm one of those people. Um, sometimes I'll just use one, do one leg at a time. And you can turn your foot in, your leg in, and you get your calf a little bit differently. Roll it out, just like that. And then make sure you do both sides. This is one area that I actually like to use the stick. Um, you can really find knots that way. You find a knot, just work on it a little bit. So the stick is also really good for your shins. Um, there are people that will roll their shins on a foam roller. Um, I, mean, I can't do that. I think it hurts. But um, I like to use a stick. You can also use the stick on your hamstring. All right, the last one I want to show you is a way to stretch your, or, uh, roll out your glutes. You're going to sit on your foam roller, and this is actually one where sometimes the longer one works better, but you're going to cross one leg over the other and roll along.
along the side of your butt. You can kind of feel your butt bone in the back. Just like that. Make sure you get both sides. Okay. And then the very last thing, I mentioned the use of a golf ball. Um, if you have tightness in your feet, um, I actually keep my golf balls in the freezer and they're nice and cold so you get a little bit of an ice massage also. You're going to put it right under your foot and roll along the fascia on the bottom of your foot. Um, if you want to make this even harder, you can stand up. Um, if you find a tight spot, you can stay on it, especially if you've got it frozen, it actually feels really good. Um, so that's one more way to give yourself a little self-massage. And hopefully this all will help uh, you be a happy, healthier runner. Thanks for watching.